Hey everyone, so I am back with my fourth and fifth month update on my dimple piercings. As usual, I am not wearing any makeup, just so you guys can see if there's any irritation, redness, etc. around the piercings. Um, I'll just get right into it. So, during the fourth month, um, they were healing fine, everything was going great. Um, and then, fifth month came along, December, and I got a really bad cold, and I don't know if you can still hear it, I'm still trying to get over it. Um, but yeah, I got a really bad cold, and then this one started to act up and my cheek was swollen and um, I had like a bump on like this side of it. It was just a mess and I thought maybe because um, I gotten really sick that maybe my body was like just trying to fight off like all foreign things that wasn't supposed to be my body. Um, maybe that's why it was acting up because that, that can happen. Um, but yesterday I went to get different um, tops. As you can see I have different tops. And they're just like uh, little clear diamonds. Um, and the tops, I believe, are from Industrial Strength. Um, but anyway, so I went to go get different tops, and I had my piercer put them on um, after I bought them. And I was talking to him about my piercing because it hadn't gotten any better. It wasn't, you know, it just it wasn't getting any better. And it was, um, it had a bump and like a pretty decent sized bump. Uh, I took some pictures of that when I had it. Um, I can't remember if they were, they're good or not, but um, I'll insert some now. So hopefully you can see by those pictures that, um, you know, it was definitely irritated and stuff. And it was leaking liquid. It wasn't infected. I, I know for sure it wasn't infected, but um, yeah, anyway. So I went and had my piercer put these new tops on. And I was asking him about it and stuff, and he said that, you know, it was quite common um, with, you know, dimple piercings that one is always going to be acting up. It's it's quite common. Um, but he he told me that I have some notes on my phone of what he said. That way I could remember it, just not ramble. Um, but he said it was a buildup of sebum and that the jewelry that I had on previously, they were, like, um, flat um, on the back where they actually, like, touch your cheek. It's, it was flat. And so that was... That wasn't allowing um, the sebum and stuff to get out, and so it was just building up, which is what that lump was. It was just build up of sebum, and uh, he, he said that, you know, it needed to come out, otherwise it would harden, and that would be a whole other problem, and obviously I don't want that, um, and that these, because these are, they're pronged, and so as you can see, they're not flat back. And so um, he said these are actually a good choice to do um, because, you know, it'll allow that stuff to get the sebum to come out instead of just, you know, being built up. Um, and I had been doing sea salts, sea salt soaks um, to, because like, you know, everyone says, oh, if your piercing's irritated or whatever, you know, sea salt soaks, sea salt soaks, sea salt soaks. And my piercer was like, eh, for that particular thing, that's, you're not doing anything good for your piercing. Um, and so obviously I'm not going to be doing that anymore, but he, what he said was, and I've never heard this before, never heard this, but he said chamomile tea soaks. Just cheap chamomile tea is fine, um, and you make it like a warm compress sort of thing, and then just put it on your cheek, and then once it cools down, put it in warm water, squeeze it out a little bit, put it back on your cheek, and just, you know, do that for a while. And I was like... Okay, like, I've never heard that, but my piercer, he knows what he's talking about. He's a legit piercer, not just some tattoo artist who has a needle. He's, like, legit piercer. Um, he went to a school for it and everything like that, so he actually knows what he's talking about and, like, a lot of piercers out there. Um, but, yeah, so I did that, and that just, you know... It, um, and he also said to do just, you know, warm compress too. And if, when I'm in the shower, you know, just let the warm water hit it and stuff. And, you know, the longer the better. Because what that's going to do is it's going to allow pores to open up. And it's just going to allow that stuff to flow out of there easier. And stuff like that. And so I did the chamomile tea soak last night when I got home. And, like, <sighs> I could notice a difference, like, right after I got in doing the soak. Like, that bump was, like drastically smaller um excuse the breakouts it's just that time of the month um 
yeah, it's still there a little bit. I'm sorry the lighting's not fantastic, um, but it is still there a little bit. It's still red around the piercing, um, but that bump was, it was just big and it was gross and, you know, just oozing all that stuff out and just, it was so crusty and it was, like, embarrassing to, like, go out and, like, see people and stuff because, you know, it, it was around Christmas time and, you know, you have to see people and I have, like, this, like, weird crusty thing going on. Um, but yeah, but thankfully my piercer is a genius and he is just absolutely wonderful and he knows what he's talking about and he just helped me out so, so much. Um, and I really appreciate it, but yeah. So that is the update on my piercings. Um, if I left anything out, I will just put it down in the description box. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them out in the comments. And thank you so much for watching.